So Taperik Vav, Mishnah Dalit. Fourth and last Mishnah in the short chapter of the sixth chapter of Sechah Sota. We learned in the last Mishnah that Eid Echad, we learned in the last Mishnah that Eid Echad is Ne'eman, or actually two Mishnah years ago, that Eid Echad said, Ani Eid Echad is Ne'eman to say that she's Asura. It's a very unique halacha vis-a-vis Sota. It's called Raglayim Ledavar. If she did Kinoi and Stira, then one witness is reliable. Our mission is going to talk about what happens if the testimony is sort of contradictory, or contradict, not sort of, contradictory. Ein Omer Nitme. So one witness comes in and says, oh, I saw that she cheated on her husband. The Ein Omer Lo Nitme. And another witness said, no, no, she didn't. She didn't. We were together. She didn't cheat on her husband. We were together. Okay? Or, Isha Omer Nitme. Isha Omer Lo Nitme. One woman says, a good, uh, you know, women are not Nemanot Nem normally. Their test. One woman says she did cheat. Another woman says she did not. Haita shota. Then we we don't rely on the witness that says she's nitmate, since there's a contradictory testimony, and she would she would she she would drink that she'd be, still be a sota. Okay, chad the hade chad. You put one against the other. Varehi bisveka of a shota, and then she is still in her status of safek, of doubt, and she drinks because we don't know did she didn't she. Davka kiatu bahadari hade hadari. But that's only if they came together. But one, if they came one after the other, let's say the first witness came and said she was unfaithful. We accept the first testimony. Remember, we said one witness is Ne'eman. We rely on him like two. And now we rely on the first one like two witnesses. An hour later, the second one comes. It's one. So we don't accept. So it's only if Aiden one says yes, one says no at the same time. Okay, but. Now, new case. Echad omer nitmeit. One witness says, "Yes, I saw her cheat." But shnei morim lo nitmeit. Two witnesses come at the same time, okay, and say, "No, you're. It, it didn't happen. You're wrong. We were with you at the time." Hare nistalei kaed ubalu tvaram mi pishnaim. The two cancel the one, and similarly, haita shota. She drinks. She returns to her status as a sota. She doesn't. They don't determine she's tumea. But shnei omim nitmeit vechad omer lo nitmeit. Let's say two witnesses. The Gemara says that this second you know, the clause is a case where they're psule edut. Neither is reliable. Neither the two or the one. So normally two against one always win. But here, two say nitmeit. Vechad omer lo nitmeit. And one says, not me. two thieves come and say she cheated. And one says she didn't. Lo ha'ita shota. The two win against the one. That's the Mishmin Tana ba'arei babe. Matniti bipsule edut. These are psule edut, like thieves or people who are not nem and reliable for testify. Halach achar rov there. You follow the majority. Ben lekula, ben lechumra, ben lashkota, ben shelo lashkota. Here, in this case, two said she did cheat, and one said she didn't. We follow the majority. Lo aita shota. We say sorry. We have to determine that you were not faithful, and your husband has to divorce you. Okay. This is basically the end of the laws of sota, parak rab, and the laws of sota. From here on in, the mishnah turns into more broad topics that relate to the sota, but are not specifics about the sota. So we'll stop here. And dedicate our learning to remembering my father, Harav, Simcha, and Yitzchak Kalman. Have a great day.